Are you stuck while playing on a slow and laggy PC in Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 3? In this video, I'll show you exactly how I boosted Fortnite to over 240 FPS on my slowest PC ever using powerful tweaks and hidden settings. No lag, no stutters, just smooth, pro-level performance. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. Step 1. Turn off power throttling in Windows for Fortnite. Slow PCs. If you play Fortnite on a low-end or budget PC, it's important to make sure your system uses full performance. One of the things that can slow down your computer is a setting in Windows called power throttling. To disable this, press the Windows plus R keys on your keyboard at the same time. A small box called the Run dialog will appear. In that box, type gpedit.msc and press Enter. This will open a window named Local Group Policy Editor. On the left side of that window, go to Computer Configuration Administrative Templates System, and then scroll down to find a folder called Power Management. Click on that folder, then look for Power Throttling Settings and double-click it. A new box will open. Inside it, find the setting that says Turn Off Power Throttling and double-click on that too. Another box will appear. Here, select the Enabled option. This turns off power throttling so your CPU can always run at its full power. After you do that, click Apply, then OK, and close all the windows. This tweak works on both Windows 10 and 11 and helps your PC run smoother and gives better FPS in Fortnite. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Set Fortnite to use higher CPU priority for better performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will tell Windows to focus more on Fortnite and give it more CPU power while it's running. This is done by changing the process priority. First, go to the folder named Fortnite Priority Manager from the Optimization Pack. Inside, you will see three different files named Fortnite Normal Priority, Fortnite Medium Priority, and Fortnite High Priority. If your PC is low-end or entry-level, double-click on Fortnite Normal Priority. If your PC is a mid-range build, double-click on Fortnite Medium Priority. If you have a high-end PC, then double-click on Fortnite High Priority. If you ever want to go back to default settings, you can double-click Fortnite Normal Priority again. After double-clicking the file that matches your PC, a message will appear asking for permission to make changes. Click Yes to allow it. This change will be saved in your system, and every time you open Fortnite, your PC will automatically apply this new priority setting to give Fortnite more power. Step 3. Use Park Control to unlock full CPU performance for Fortnite slow PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we are going to unlock the full speed of your CPU using a tool called Park Control made by Bitsum. If you haven't installed it yet, go to the Bitsum website, download Park Control, and install it. Once the program is open, find a setting called Performance Profile and set it to Bitsum Highest Performance. Then look below to find the advanced settings and change the following. Set Parking AC to Disabled. Set Parking DC to Disabled. Set Frequency Scaling AC to Disabled and set Frequency Scaling DC to Disabled. Also, make sure the option called Bitsum Dynamic Boost is turned on. This allows your CPU to save energy when idle but go full power when gaming. After doing that, open Windows Power Options and choose the plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. In that plan, find Minimum Processor State and set it to 100%, and also set Maximum Processor State to 100%, then click Make Active and click Apply. This will make sure your CPU gives full performance during Fortnite matches. Step 4. Use NVIDIA Profile Inspector to boost Fortnite FPS on slow PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make Fortnite run smoother and fix any stuttering or FPS drops, we are going to use a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This tool gives access to hidden GPU settings that you won't find in the regular NVIDIA control panel. First, open NVIDIA Profile Inspector and search for Fortnite from the list at the top. If you downloaded a config file from my Discord, you can load it to apply settings instantly. If not, you can do it manually. Go to the anti-aliasing section and change the setting called Transparency Super Sampling to 0x Tetra 0 triple zero eight. Then scroll down to the Texture Filtering section, enable Driver Controlled LOD, and then change both LOD, Bias DX, and LOD Bias OGL to plus 3. These changes will reduce visual quality like grass or water, but your game will run faster. Now change negative LA to bias to clamp and set texture filtering quality to high quality. Go down to power management mode and select optimal performance. After adjusting all the settings, click apply changes to save everything. These tweaks will help Fortnite run better on weak GPUs or old PCs. 
In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Use ISLC tool to optimize RAM and reduce Fortnite input lag. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we'll use a helpful tool called ISLC Intelligent Standby List Cleaner to clean your RAM and make Fortnite more responsive. First, open the ISLC program. At the top, you will see the amount of total system memory shown in MB, megabytes. Take that number and divide it by 2. Enter that value in the box that says, list size is at least. For example, if your total memory shows 16,000 megabyte, then type in 8,000. If it shows 32,000 megabyte, then enter 16,000. Next, check the following boxes. Start ISLC minimized, launch ISLC on user logon, and enable custom timer resolution. Then, set custom timer resolution to 0.50, and set polling rate to 1,000, or 1,000 if your PC is very slow. After this, click stop, then start, and finally click purge standby list. Leave ISLC running in the background while you play Fortnite. This will keep your RAM clean and help your game stay smooth and fast. Step 6. Improve GPU response. Using MSI mode utility for Fortnite slow PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will improve your graphics card's performance using a tool called MSI Utility V3. Open the MSI Utility program and it will show a list of all devices connected to your PC. First, find your dedicated GPU, for example, NVIDIA GeForce GTX or RTX. Tick the box under the MSI column for your GPU and set interrupt priority to high. Then find your integrated GPU, like Intel UHD or AMD Vega graphics. Tick the MSI box for that too, and also set its interrupt priority to high. After making all these changes, click Apply at the bottom right corner and close the program. This tweak helps reduce input lag and allows your GPU to respond faster while playing Fortnite. Step 7. Make your keyboard faster with Filter Keys Setter Tool. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we'll make your keyboard respond quicker using a program called Filter Keys Setter. Open the tool and change the settings as follows. Set Ignore Under to 0 M's. Set Repeat Delay to 130 M's and set repeat rate to 10, 10 M's. Once you have entered those values, tick the box on the right-hand side and click OK to save everything. These changes will make your keyboard react faster, which is very helpful in games like Fortnite where fast inputs matter a lot. Step 8. Turn on game mode and set graphics preferences for Fortnite slow PCs. In this last step, we'll enable game mode and adjust graphics settings so Fortnite gets better performance. First, open Windows settings, search for game mode, and turn it on. This will make Windows stop background tasks while you are gaming. Next, go to Graphics Settings, click Browse, and find your Fortnite game file, where the .exe file is located. Add it to the list. Once it's added, click on it, click Options, choose High Performance, and click Save. This makes sure your graphics card always gives its best when running Fortnite. All of these steps are designed to help you get the maximum FPS, lowest input lag, and the smoothest Fortnite gameplay, especially on low-end or slow PCs. If you follow each step carefully, your system will feel much faster, and your Fortnite experience will be way better every time you play.